All right, y'all, we're rolling a little smoke this morning. Been a while since uh, we've been back to the feral kitchen. Because honestly, <laughs> Angie and I have been trying to eat better. So it's kind of like, mm, all I used to do is fry stuff. and So I'm having to learn. But anyway, we're, we're, we're doing better. She's doing great. My, my weight loss is more like a, a, a three-year-old on a teeter-totter, kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. But uh, we have been doing really good and trying to eat better. But figured I'd get back in the kitchen, try to show some of the recipes that we love. Uh, some of the ones that, that are healthier, and of course, this one's going to be one of my, my absolute favorites. I don't know that I'd call it healthy, but I eat it on everything that, that's healthy that we eat, like the eggs and stuff like that. I love this green sauce on here. So uh, this is my peppers, onions, cilantro. I've got uh, poblanos on, on the grill smoking right now. If you want it a little hotter, you know, I would go with like a serrano instead of the jalapenos. I'll put the recipe up, but you can kind of fine tune it for what you, you want. And that's exactly what I did was kind of fine tune it for, for my palate. But everything's smoking just because I, I kind of like that little extra kick on that green sauce whenever I get it done. But this is good on everything. Like one of our favorite things to do is, is a mushroom quesadilla now, which I know hell just froze over a little bit just because I said that I ate something without meat in it. But they're excellent, and this green sauce is outstanding on it. So we'll work on that recipe and share it with y'all here shortly. They starting to get a little color, a little wilt to them. And I, I want that I want that good char. To me, it just adds to the recipe. Uh, you can see it. Smoky color. All them wrinkling up, getting dark around the edges. So that's exactly like I want it. All right, as I'm adding these ingredients, this is the only one that most of y'all may have a little trouble with, and this is the citric acid. Now this stuff is found usually in the canning section of your stores. I put this in all sorts of stuff because I love sour and, and tangy stuff. Be cautious with this. You can always add more, you can't take it out. So I use one tablespoon in my mix and I can step it up if I need to, but don't, don't overdo this until you taste it. You can always add it later. So good stuff, really good in jello. If you like sour jello, stuff like that, this is how you make it. All right, the cumin's gonna be the last of the ingredients going in here. Next thing I'm gonna do is lid it, bring it to a boil, and just kind of let it simmer. You know, take it down, let it simmer for about 30 minutes. You just wanna soften all those peppers in there. All right, she's boiling good, so I done brought her back down to simmer now. She's going to sit for 30 minutes. Let me warn you, this will smell your house up like salsa and pepper. So if your bride's real sensitive to this stuff, fellas, if you're cooking, you're definitely going to get blamed for stinking up the house. But man, to me, it smells like a dream. I love it. The other warning I got for you is to, when you're cutting those peppers up, always glove up. Wear rubber gloves, because if you forget and touch your eyes, you'll be mad at me. If you forget and go to the potty, you will hate your existence. So those peppers, just the jalapenos can be a little on the warm side. If you do the serranos, they're even hotter. So remember that. Always glove up when you're dealing with peppers. All right, I let it cool a little while, but it's still pretty warm. Always be cautious when you're blending anything hot. Just, just pulse it and be very, very careful. All right, you can see all the black flakes in there, all the, the char, everything else is just, I mean, mixed up really well. This is the way I like mine blended down. This is more like a, a sauce than a salsa, but uh, I, this is the way I like it a whole lot. Now, I'm gonna bring it back up to a boil, just to simmer on this real quick. And, and after it does that, then I'm gonna try to taste it. And this is when you would add extra salt if you need it. Uh, if you like it a little on the sweeter side, add a little extra honey. Just, just This is where you can kind of tweak your flavors like you want. If you need to add more citric acid, you could. But uh, this is kind of that fine tuning. All right, there she is, y'all. For your efforts, you usually end up with a jar this size and one that's bigger than this, that's slam full. Uh, usually lasts me about a month or so. I keep them in the fridge. But this stuff, I'm telling you, it's good on everything. It's good on a flip-flop. Uh, I use it, uh, anything that I'm eating, you know, with, with eggs, stuff like that. I love it with my brats. I love it. Well, I'm not going to name everything because I just told you I eat it on everything. It, literally, I eat it on everything. 
very 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 good stuff i call it bite sauce because it's got a little bite you can adjust it to what you like uh hope y'all enjoy it let me know what you think